You'll make this rather snappy, won't you? I have some very heavy thinking to do before 10 o'clock. My story isn't unique. I collected sports cards as a kid, hauled worthless junk wax to college, and from job to job across the country. I didn't even think about the hobby for two decades. I was lucky enough to do something cool for a living, making videos for sports teams. But the last thing I wanted to do after working a 14-hour day at the ballpark was look at some more pictures of players. But in 2009, I started grabbing retail packs. I couldn't believe it was still fun. The hobby had changed a lot, but much more change was still coming. I was now producing TV shows. I always wondered why something that was so ingrained into so many childhoods, it was never talked about in mainstream sports media. 11 years later, pandemic hits, everyone's talking about sports cards. The hobby absolutely explodes. So the hobby not being in mainstream sports media thing, I decided to change that. Emails to sports networks about a sports card TV show were responded with an immediate yes. And how quickly can you start? I've been watching MLB pitcher Matt Strom open packs on his Stadium Polls YouTube page for almost a year. DM'd him on Twitter, he replied, let's do it. Three months later, we're filming our first episode in Arizona. Now, two years later, we've told incredible stories across 25 states. It's a platform the hobby hasn't had in its 150 years of existence. Sure, we talk about how much some cards are worth, but the real worth is in the impact of these cards. It teaches life lessons, creates lifelong friends. It starts meaningful conversations, while celebrating and educating about important history, both on and off the field. It's an artistic outlet. It's used as a fundraising tool to help those in need. Most of all, it brings back the memories of the best days of our childhood. There truly is a connection in every card. And the card life is proud to have the opportunity to showcase how every single month.